Hey, everybody, it's Andrew. Hope you all are doing well. Today, I'm going to be talking about the re-signing of quarterback C.J. Beathard, defensive lineman Roy Robertson-Harris, and then running back to Michael Hasty. I'm a little late on this. This happened a few weeks ago, but you know, I'd like to talk about it because I think it's important. To start off with C.J. Beathard. He was re-signed for a two-year, $4.5 million deal. I like it. I think it's reasonable. Um I think he's done pretty well with the Jaguars, despite, you know, not having to come in too many times. But, you know, he really played an amazing game back in 2021 uh, against the Bills. He had made some incredible throws when we needed it and uh, helped out our offense when Trevor was hurt for a couple of series. We ended up winning that game um, against the Bills. I think it was like nine to six. It was back when Urban was the coach. I like the resigning. I think Beathard's more of a game manager, but provides some pretty solid depth at the quarterback spot. Um, so let's go to Roy Roberts and Harris. We signed him, I believe back in 2021, back when urban, uh, was the coach and, um, you know, he's been pretty solid, uh, free agent acquisition. You know, he started off a little slow this year in the beginning of the season, but, was really uh amazing in the postseason he had three sacks i think he had like 45 um total tackles so i think he was resigned for a three-year 21.6 million dollar deal i like it i think it's reasonable i think he provides you know solid veteran leadership on the defensive line it is a is a decent pass rusher and i think he's really going to help uh this defensive line grow hopefully get at the quarterback more but um I, i'm i'm also thinking though that we're probably going to have to go to the draft like i said in a previous video to beef up that uh pass rush because um, we need to get to the quarterback and uh we need to uh get some sacks so but i like this signing uh i like roy robertson harris he's done you know a pretty good job uh this season and i think he can help us uh hopefully lead us to a super bowl all right uh, next signing is Jamichael Hasty. He was re-signed for a um, two-year, $3.2 million deal. Uh, Hasty has been really good as that second running back. He was a undrafted free agent. I believe he was over in San Francisco before he came over to Jacksonville. He had an amazing 61-yard touchdown run against the Colts. That was the second Colts game. He's a really good pass catcher, you know, or uh, receiving back, you know, and, and provides solid depth at the running back spot. Uh, I think, you know, his his total stats for last season, he had um, 46 carries, 194 yards, uh, two touch, uh, two rushing touchdowns. Uh, I think he also caught a pass for a touchdown as well. I, yeah, Hasty's a solid back. Um, he, I think he can also do special teams. He can return. Uh, kickoff so i mean i think he's he's a multi-dimensional player and i think it was good to to resign him i like the resigning um but yeah i I, th I think the jaguars you know made some smart moves there providing more depth at the quarterback spot resigning hasty who did you know a really good job this year and was uh pretty pivotal or excuse me very um clutch you know in, in some of these games um, I like Roy Robertson Harris as well. Like I said, solid depth in the defensive line, but we still need to, you know, beef that up in the draft. How do you guys feel about these resignings? Um, do you think the Jags should have kind of taken more time to go find somebody else in the in the backup quarterback market, like maybe a, a, a Teddy Bridgewater, Gardner Minshew, um, Drew Locke? There were a lot of quarterback free agent quarterbacks that were on the market, but um do you guys like the Roy Robertson Harris signing and Jamichael Hasty signing? Do you think maybe we should have tried to re-sign James Robinson? I know that's kind of an unlikely scenario, but food for thought. Let me know how you feel. Leave me a comment on the YouTube video or podcast episode. Smash that like button. Uh, helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, hit that red subscribe button as well um, if you want to support the channel. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time. 
Duval. What's up, everybody? It's Andrew from the Jaguar Podcast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always. And remember, this is a podcast, so you can find this pretty much wherever you find podcasts. Subscribe to it. Go Jags, and I'll see you next time.